everyone. Welcome to Fluid Art by Christine. How are you doing today? I am doing great. Uh, feeling great. Feeling great. Um, so, I just wanted to say hi. I'm about to do a fairly large canvas. This one is an 18 by 24. And it's this one. This one. You'll see it when I turn the camera down if I can get it high enough. Um, so this is going to be another five cup pour and I'm going to do a sandwich pour again because I like them so much. They are awesome. Uh, I just wanted to show you the results from a couple videos ago. The uh, snowy jeweled river. Let me see if I can get this right on the camera. Now I'm not sure how I would hold it. You know, if it goes this way, or this way, but I just am thrilled with it. And this was a five cup sandwich pour. Okay, so I'm going to go put this down. Anyway, so I am using the same pouring medium that I've been using, uh, 12 ounces of Gluol, 4 ounces of Floetrol, and 2 ounces of GAC 800, and the spot on treadmill, 2 to 3 drops per color, no silicone in the white, okay? So um, this, I don't, I'm just kind of using a mishmash of what I have on my table, what I used the other night on that one, and then other things. I. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to put the gold in it. So I may or may not, I don't know, just going to see what happens when I get the cups in front of me. So I'm going to bring you guys down and uh, we're going to fill up the cups. Okay, here we go. So I've got five cups in a row and of a lot of different colors. I'm going to try to go by memory because I don't have these written down. Um, I've got the, I think this is phalo blue, the cadmium orange hue, uh, Naples yellow, aqua green, burnt sienna, gold, there's not a lot of gold, so I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. Um, this light aqua green, and there's not a lot of that either. And the Prussian blue, and I'm going to be, there's no way I'm going to use all those. I'm just going to kind of see how they go with the layers. And I'm going to start with a big fat layer of white. Now these are the wide mouth cups. And I tend to favor these when I'm going to do a big canvas like this. Because when you flip them, it's a wider mouth. Does that make any sense? So it disperses in a wider um, pattern, I guess. All right, so what am I going to start with? I think I'm going to start, I'm not going to make these the same because I don't want them to be the same. I want the painting to have different patterns throughout. So orange in there. Two of them I'll start with orange. I'm using leftover paint so it's not a fresh batch. That's not good. Okay. And maybe on this one over. So while I'm filling up these cups, I want to mention that on uh, my last video, uh, Karen from Waterfall Acrylics 
commented and um, gave me a really nice comment and subscribed to my channel as well. And so I'm absolutely delighted. Welcome, Karen, to uh, my channel. And I hope you enjoy watching my videos. I want to dedicate this painting to you because, as I said before, you taught me how to do sandwich pours. And so I'm just having a dandy old time making paintings with using that method and um, getting beautiful results. So thanks, Karen, and welcome. some color on this one over here. What about me? Me blue. Aqua green. I think I actually may make some more paint, but you guys won't know it because I will edit it out. All right, that one's done. That one's done. Sienna. Losing track of what I put it in and what I didn't put it in. I'm just trying to use all my paint. All right, I'm going to go mix up some more orange. Okay, I'm back. I mixed up more Naples yellow and more orange because I think that's going to be all I need. Um, if you guys remember the painting I did, um, I was like, where's my orange? <sighs> so that's not going to happen today, okay? There's no question that I put lots of orange in this. Okay, go easy now. Don't go crazy. I do love Naples yellow. I put a lot of Naples yellow in um, Pearl Beach. If you guys haven't seen that one, it's one of my favorite paintings I'll never sell. Called Pearl Beach. I don't know the number of the video. And I think I even wrote, this is my favorite painting. <laughs> so, okay, now we're gonna top the whole thing with white. Try to get it to layer. You don't realize how much these cups hold until you start layering these cups and putting a thick layer of white and you're like, whoa, that took up an entire 16 ounce cup of paint just to put in the bottom layer of five cups. So you'll need a lot of white paint if you do the two 16 ounce cups full, probably do ya. Okay, let me see if those are about even. All right, I'm going to stop. Okay, wow. All right, so I'm going to get everything ready and bring you guys back when I got the canvas down. Okay, here it is. The canvas. Woohoo! I'm going to go ahead and flip these in no particular order. And I'm saving this one for the middle.
that's paint on the bottom from my last painting because I didn't change my towel. <laughs> I'm excited, but I'm not nearly as nervous because I, I did a big one two days ago and you know, that's what helps the nerves go away is, you know, doing it. So whatever may happen, bring it on. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Okay, so who's up first? Has to be enough paint to get the gallery rack sides. Oh, these colors, luscious. You go over there, out of the way. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. That Naples yellow. Oh, such a fan of that stuff. Just some bubbles to pop. Pop. Okay. Time for party. Here we go. I'm not sure what that was. Me goofing around. Trying not to make a line. So I was kind of successful. There'd be a hole right here. Okay, so for this one, if you, if you want little cells, you shouldn't do it now shouldn't torch now. Um, I'm just going to roll this around a little bit and get these to meet right here. Okay. already getting huge cells and that's not the goal um, I'm gonna tilt completely and then I'm gonna torch after that's taking some serious self-control because I want to torch it so bad right now and I'm not allowing myself to don't do it Christine Okay, so these sides are not covered at all, so I've got to wiggle back and forth over here. Gotta get that corner on the right as well as the edge. Looks like a rainbow. Oh, 
whole stretch going that way. But that's okay, it could look cool in the long run. Let's see if I can bring it back a little bit. I don't wanna dump this off by bringing that back. I actually need to look at this and turn it around because I feel like that's the way I need to look at it. Oh, I just drew my fingers on it. Okay, it's not that bad. I can tilt it off if I have to. Right there. Okay, time for torch. White cells, lots of itty bitty delicate white cells. Some weird looking cells in the middle. I don't know what, did I put gold in it? When I thought I was putting burnt sienna, I don't know. Centers might be cool. Get used to it. It's very pastel rainbow, kind of. Cells are still opening, they're still doing stuff. I'm gonna let it, gotta let it do it. Look at this. There's definitely interesting things to look at on this. Wow, I love it. Love the sandwich pour. You never know what you're gonna get. I don't like these creatures, and I'm gonna stick my finger in it, I swear. This one right here it looks like a damn bug. Like it, it, it looks like a cartoon figure of a bug. Ugh. I don't know what to do. Oh my God, I see a clownfish. Oh my God, nuh-uh. You guys, I'm gonna take a picture of this. I am not crazy. So just in case that's not there in the morning and there's this crazy looking bug. Should I leave it alone? I wish you were here. I mean, this is all beautiful. I love this. It's right here that I don't like. I mean, the color's pretty, but the cell shape formations are very odd. I think I'm gonna leave it alone. Cause I could stick, if I stick my finger in it, then I'll be mad at myself. I'm gonna give you a close up of what I'm looking at. <laughs> I mean, embrace it. There's some really interesting things to look at, so. Okay. I'm standing on a chair, so I got the whole thing in the camera. <laughs> um, so, look at this thing. Now, from far away, it looks kind of fine. I mean, it looks, it looks really awesome. I like it a lot. But this is what I'm talking about. I don't know if you guys can see it. That thing. Right there. Doesn't that look weird? 
And then there's a fish, a couple fish, hanging out right there. Why do I always get these doodles? They look like cartoons, I swear. I've had paintings that do cartoons. But all in all, it's gorgeous. Look at the river background with cells on top. See right here. This is my favorite area right here. Beautiful. But all in all, far away, you know, across the room. I love it. Hi everyone. Okay, so it's dry. And I wanted to show you, I'm so loving this painting. I know I didn't sound like I was jumping up and down, but I have seriously fallen in love with this painting. Let me tell you what. And I kind of like it like this. What do you guys think? Like this. Let me give you guys a close up of it. How pretty it dry, no cracks. It's perfect. And remember the fish I was telling you guys about that I didn't know if it was going to be here in the morning? Right there. It's dried exactly the same and there's that weird little bug. So it didn't move at all. And that's one thing that I love about this pouring medium is you get whatever you leave on the table as long as your table's level and you don't screw up like that. But anyway, love this painting. Love it. I'm going to give it a nice polyacrylic coat of clear gloss um, in about a week. And she is going to be ready to roll. So really happy with this one. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.